my friends so do you want to know how to automate your social media posts I mean what if what if you don't have enough time to post on all the platforms to post on all the different places that you could be posting how do you automate some of that and is it a good idea right to automate your social media posting we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Now you may be thinking, oh my god, I don't I don't have enough time to post on all the platforms. I need to be posting on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Pinterest, on YouTube. I need to have a blog, I need to set up on Blogger, I need to set up on WordPress, I need to set up all these different places and I just don't have the time to do that right so I mean you know let me fix my shirt <laughs> there we go there that's also better all right so yeah I don't have time I don't have time for all that you might be thinking I don't have time for all that and you're probably right because it takes so long to do all those different posts on all these different platforms right so what do I do I mean I don't have time I have my lunch and that's in, a, in an hour or two a week or something right I don't have that much time to be you know engaging on social media reacting and commenting on people's stuff replying and having conversations with them and ha sending out emails and uh, automating uh, not uh, not even uh, let's just not even talk about automate I don't have time to be posting on all the different platforms recording my video posting on YouTube then creating my blog and then then sharing that on LinkedIn then sharing that on Facebook and on Pinterest on Instagram everywhere right I don't have time I just have like you know an hour a day right pretty much so how do I do it right how do I do it let me just show you here um actually I should have probably um done something here to show you I mean if I go to Twitter that's not the right Twitter Twitter uh if I go to Twitter and I look at my profile actually I should have done this uh, I'm on Twitter I'm on Twitter uh here let's share my screen the screen so yeah so I'm on Twitter right if I go to my Twitter uh my my profile you can see that I'm on Twitter I got 11,000 followers and I have these posts like look this was posted 19 minutes ago this was 43 minutes ago this was 49 this was 54 I mean I'm posting I'm posting I'm posting I'm not getting uh, a huge engagement because I'm not really active on Twitter but you can see I'm posting and posting and posting right and if I look at my um, analytics and I look at that you can see that there is some activity right I'm getting these tweets 300 300k impressions 400k impressions and people re retweeting my stuff uh, commenting on my stuff right that's that's happening right I mean it's not huge I'm, I'm not as because I used to get 1 million 2 million 4 million impressions uh, a month I gotta probably improve that but I'm just saying this is automation right I'm automating now the other thing if I go to say uh success with js um wordpress wordpress.com so I actually have a wordpress site this is a this is a, a, a wordpress site that I, I set up it's a free wordpress site it's posting for me automatically look at these posts I never I haven't done a single one of these posts these are all just automated posts they just show up right uh that's been uh automated what else do I have that's automated I have um let's see what else do I have I have well I mean here let me show you here in in social on only wire is one of the tools I use um I have these these networks um I probably should reconnect but you see like things like WordPress is right here it's connected I've got Instapaper I didn't even know I had that I got um uh, I don't have MySpace anymore but there's Blogger there's Tumblr there's there's Pocket all these different things I'm actually posting automatically I don't even do anything it just happens whenever I do a post so I have my blog right so I have my blog 
which is this right which I'm sure you've seen before if you if you're listening to the audio I'm just showing the a blog of my blog jeansergegagnon.com which basically is my home home on the on the internet right so it's all of the posts I do I actually do these posts these ones here I actually write up and I create and I post right then there's um then there's so, th so then what happens is in this particular platform here only wire which is one of the ones that I use that one there will based on what you set up in here right will take any of the posts well actually it's in the configuration of the automation I have different feeds I've got my feed here for my blog which is right here and I tell it please go ahead and share this to all these different networks these different pages these different Facebook pages I mean Google is there but it, I, that doesn't exist anymore but I have different Facebook pages I have different things and if I and I even have set up from Network Marketing Pro I'm, I'm posting it to different things right and I have different things that I'm posting these as well like dannyjohnson.com so in the only wire setup you can have three feeds in the plan I mean there's different plans you can buy other plans but you can have more feeds right upgrade to more to have more feeds if you want uh, that's kind of how it works so it basically takes whatever you're feeding it and it'll post it to uh, what it, wherever you want it to post I mean there's a, there's exception there's number of connections like for example right now I'm just gonna I got errors in my Twitter let's just reauthorize this I guess that hasn't been uh, I don't even know if this will this will fix it or not yep that's good so that's good he's happy he's re-logged in he's he's connected the other thing is my LinkedIn too my LinkedIn has been in there I'm just going to reauthorize it so that's how you set it up you set that up and then you get that to be automatic right whenever uh, something happens on your blog it goes to all these different places as links or as posts and you can connect other things I mean I, I like if you don't have like say I don't have this right I can go here and I can say connect imager and I can create an account right here I don't even know what that is but that's a social media that uh, account that I can interact with I can connect with so any of these that I have I actually have my blogger I don't even know is there a way to see that's a group no I'm just wondering if there's a if there's a link to go straight to yeah, right here let's see what happens I click on this oh it's not even the link so there's tumblr I have tumblr if I go to tumblr I don't post anything there it's all automated so tumblr tum, tumblr right tumblr tumblr.com the same thing it's uh success with js I can log in here I actually have an account here let's just uh, go to my isn't there a, a login with Facebook I thought there was okay anyways I have a there so that's my I go to my profile on tumblr my profile I can see that I posted all these things look at that look this is a post I did just a few just not long ago right it's there it's all there different posts I put on on Instagram there's all this automation that's going on these are posts that I posted on Instagram on my blog things like that and they're all there and I don't even know that I, I'm not even know that I'm doing it now there's there's integrations of course that doesn't really you know uh doesn't really have any value if you're not engaging that much but the point is that at least you can be out there you can people can find you they can see you so that's only wire that's one of the ones I use the other one is buffer buffer is kind of cool because you can also uh post images like in Instagram right so if I just go here I just click I set it all up of course you got to set up the accounts you got to log in you got to create an account there is a free account there's a paid account I I use paid accounts like 10 bo 10 bucks a month kind of thing 100 dollars a year for these things so what I do is I just click on this and then I go and I choose an image say one of these images that I have it just uh, loads it up and then I can look at the image see what this is life the most 
realizing okay so then I just put a quote here I say have you taken the exam today right so I'm just going to do this and then I choose that I want to show it on other platforms as well actually this one here is the page no it's the profile okay and then I just I can if I wanted to you can't enable two uh two Twitter accounts at the same time there's a there's a Twitter limitation Pinterest you need to set up a so I'm, I'm not going to worry about it right now but basically what I'm doing here is I'm saying this post here that I just put this image with this text go ahead and post it on all these social media not it doesn't post it right now sorry it adds it to a queue so go ahead and put it in the queue for all these different uh platforms you can change the text if you wanted for each of them if you wanted right but I'm just going to make the same thing everywhere I'm just going to say add to queue and what that does is it puts it in the queue here you can see that these are all my different platforms if I add another one let's go add another one I'm going to take this I take this out here then I do another image and then I and then you're going to see if I reload the page I'll just show you happiest people uh, the unhappy people usually evaluating and judging others all right. it's all about being happy. Hope you, whoops. Hope you have a great day. All right. So now I'm just gonna select again all the different ones I want. Thank you. All right, so now you can see over here it says three four three six right that's because I've added things to my cues and it's adding them now the the other thing now what you want to do is because well it's what I do right it's because so I add I add images a bunch like a hundred the maximum you can do is a hundred on the plan I have if you want more you can do a, a more advanced plan but what happens is you have you go to your um say to this particular queue you can go over here you can say under the settings I want to um, post scheduling I want it to be a specific time right so you see how it's posting on these times 9 48 p.m um there's a there used to be a way maybe it's in the advanced one or something but anyways you just choose and you just select something and you just say add posting time if I go to say my LinkedIn one my posting schedule there is 333 right if I go to Facebook it's at uh 446 right and then the other thing I do is if I go to here after I've added everything in there I go to the shuffle queue I'm going to shuffle it I'm going to say shuffle it and the reason why I do that is because after I've added the image to every single one of my platforms I don't want them to all be the same one right I want them to be different I want them to be a different order I don't want the same like the same image to be posted on across all my platforms on the same day so that's what I do I go in here and I shuffle them all right each of the cues I shuffle them and that way they become uh randomized more or less right and that's kind of how how I do that so what this does is on these platforms except for Instagram it'll post it at the time you say on Instagram the difference is it will not post it it will just prompt on your on your phone it'll prompt on your phone that it's ready to post and you can go ahead and just click a button to post it and that's basically how that how that works all right so that's um that's only what else can I talk about in uh, pub buffer all right so the next one that I use is called social jukebox social jukebox is is different from the other two because it's a you basically build up these 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 jukeboxes of posts right so for example if I look at this one I have 373 posts in this jukebox and now if I look at my jukeboxes here I have all these different jukeboxes as you can see the numbers over here 373 in this one 70 in this one 348 in this one 31 in this one so you fill these uh with items in them <coughs> and then you set up schedules and then the platform will share to your 
to your me to the to wherever you configure it like for example in this case um in here I'm saying sure send this to to my profile and this is on LinkedIn so you can have you can set up Facebook LinkedIn or Twitter on this one and I'm telling it to post to my profile or post to a page right and it's basically a, a jukebox that will it will post one of those posts ra randomly based on the schedule out of all the posts that are there that's why you can see in here that the if I sort by last posted you can see that these posts have been posted well some of them say never right they just haven't been posted yet but if I scroll back the other way sorted the other way you can see this one here this one here these ones are they were posted you know in the 15 17 18 19. now the other thing too is that in the options you can say I don't want you to post do not repeat a post for at least 20 days in this case since and then in Twitter it's different if I go to Twitter and I look at the settings there uh basically uh where is it my, let's say this one and I look at the settings I can see that this one is set for 10 days so the same post that it's been posted will not be posted again for at least 10 days if it gets picked right but it, it's it's basically so it's, now the other thing is there's a there's a there's a schedule you can set up the schedule like this you can see when the posts are happening which which um oh actually you can move them around did I did I move it no so you can see uh the different the the anyways it's a it's a visual representation of all your uh, your jukeboxes when do you post it um probably the better one is LinkedIn because I don't have a th as I don't do as much posting on LinkedIn so you can see on LinkedIn here I've got these different posts that I'm posting at these different times and it's just posting on my on my timeline and when we go to when we go to LinkedIn if I look at my profile on LinkedIn which by the way go ahead and follow me go ahead and send the connection but send me a message so I know that you watch this uh, let me know but but if I look at this and you look if I look at my my page I go to my to my activity over here and then I look at the posts these are posts that I that I did I didn't do but this one is a from yesterday I shared these but I mean if I look at these posts this one here this post here critical free training I didn't post that myself it's but you can't tell right 33 minutes ago this was posted this one here oh, I gotta fix this probably but this one here was posted 17 hours ago right that's another automated one that I didn't do right um so yeah like I said in tumblr that's kind of cool <laughs> that's like you know you get these things and you get it automated and it's it's really cool to look at this right to see how all of this is all just automatic right it just it's just automatic it just just happens and happens and happens and it's 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 cool to see this stuff right and I think it's I anyways I think it's pretty awesome to see these automated posts and that they just are happening and that they're just automatic and I don't even have to worry about it and whatever I post is shown up right and it's these are the like, look at that look at all these posts right so and even like this is a this oh yes there's another tool I use which you call I let's do that IFTT so IFTT is if this then that and that one there is um I'm just going to sign in here uh that's not it that's not it why is this saying that hmm I'm not sure that can be right yeah okay so if I go to my not sure this is one of the things one of the things I find about IFTT is that it's a little kind of actually I don't think I I have anything here this is not the right account I'm logged in now with a user that's not real uh yeah this is not it so how do I log out yeah IFTT is a little bit weird it doesn't have so log in 
and it doesn't have like uh, anyways I'd, I'll have to show you some other time because I can't figure it out uh the, one of the things with IFTT is I find it's very confusing how to find what you're doing but basically it allows you to do things like whenever I post a new video in my blog in my YouTube channel just share it here and there and there right you can do similar things that you've done that I've shown you with the other platforms like only wire is uses uh, uh RSS feeds I guess you call it right uh social jukebox uses jukeboxes where you you create all these different posts in here like if I have these YouTube videos in here right they get posted um based on the schedule if I look at the options here the schedule is that's actually right no it's, it's here where's the schedule uh advanced no I'm turning I thought the schedule was in here maybe they moved it maybe it's all just visual schedule now yeah but anyways you can also save your posts download your posts and save them and you can uh change uh, move them around there's analytics um targeted posts is another thing that's kind of cool you can have a specific post that will be shown for a specific amount of time and then that's it it's not like a every single day it's it's just this one time thing right um and yeah so basically that's that's it if I if I if I show you this here when you have these you can mouse over them you can see what they are you can uh, edit this post and just go ahead and change the text in it right and you can when you create a new post you just say add new post and then you put some text in there you can upload an image if you want right and then that becomes your post you know, so I'll just cancel um then there's add to library which uses uh, ex uh other jukeboxes that you can get there's a bunch of free jukeboxes um what else what else so yeah so buffer and only wire and social media social jukebox as well as iftt but like I said I can't I, I'll have to figure out how to log back into that but that's automation do you need it what are the benefits like one of the things that one of the one of the things uh, that's right one of the things maybe I should show you is automation for Facebook is a little bit um they don't like it too much they won't let you automate posts on your profile but if you automate posts on your page which I don't know where you get access to your pages anymore they used to have a they used to have one of these buttons with a page right now I'm not sure where the pages are right here are they maybe this is the new the new UI right oh I'm actually on my page right now okay so in here if I ever if I ever if there's ever a post that's automatic this is uh this is one here oh they changed that it used to say right here by only wire or, or posted by you know um social jukebox are posted by buffer and it's actually not there anymore that's interesting but yeah so these are the automated posts as well right over here right these are all automated posts they're just automatic I don't even have to I don't even do them they just show up and I still get some in, some engagements not that much because it's automated Facebook doesn't show your post to people uh, whenever it's automated right not as much or not even right uh, so that's one of the things see this one's 101 people four engagements right this one was just two people reach but this one here was three one two so there's a lot of there's not that much in, in automation there's less engagement so that's one of the things you got to be careful about you really do need to be doing manual work but at least with automation you can show that you're active if somebody ever goes to your page and goes to your profile they see that stuff is happening and maybe they maybe that's one person out there is going to connect with you that way right so that's what automation is all about let's go back to the here so yeah so that's what automation is all about is it something that you really should be doing that's a question you got to ask yourself depending on how much time you have and setting it up of course takes time but that's what I do and if you have any questions of course reach out 
and let's have a conversation hope this helped have yourself a great day until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time